To those who didn't know them, Ryan Poston and Shayna Hubers seemed like a couple worthy of envy. He was a handsome 29-year-old Cincinnati attorney with a winning smile, a love of chess, and a career he enjoyed. She was a good-looking striver, only 21 years old and already pursuing a graduate degree. Their courtship began when he added her on Facebook after stumbling across her striking spring break pictures. Soon they were looking good together, but the facade collapsed some 18 months later on October 12, 2012, when Huber shot and killed Poston at his apartment in the tiny Cincinnati suburb of Highland Heights, Kentucky. In today's episode, we're going to be going over the murder of Ryan Poston and the true crime story that stunned an entire nation. It was a mystery that made headlines when a handsome groom vanished one night from his honeymoon cruise. Seven years later, the FBI says new evidence has surfaced that suggests he may have been murdered. Ryan Carter Poston was born December 30, 1982, in Fort Mitchell, Kentucky, to Lisa Carter and Jay Poston. He had three younger sisters, Allison, Catherine, and Elizabeth Carter. Poston attended Blessed Sacrament School, the International School Manila, and the International School of Geneva during high school. He later attended Indiana University, where he triple majored in history, geography, and political science, then went to law school at the Salmon P. Chase College of Law at Northern Kentucky University in Highland Heights. After completing his Juris Doctor degree, Poston began working as an attorney in Cincinnati, Ohio. In 2011, Poston, who was 28 years old at the time, met 19-year-old Shayna Hubers on Facebook. Hubers was friends with Poston's step-cousin, Carissa Carlisle. Poston and Hubers began dating soon after. At the time they began dating, Hubers was a psychology student at the University of Kentucky in Lexington, approximately 80 miles from Highland Heights. She graduated cum laude and was pursuing a master's degree in school counseling. The couple reportedly had a volatile relationship and broke up several times over an 18-month period. On the night of his murder, Poston had a date with Miss Ohio USA, 2012, Audrey Bolt. On October 12, 2012, Hubers called 911 to report that she killed Poston in his Highland Heights condominium. Hubers shot Poston six times, but she continually maintained that killing him was in self-defense. That night, during her interrogation, she alleged that her relationship with Poston had been abusive. Although she was read her Miranda rights, Hubers voluntarily spoke to police. When explaining the details of their relationship, she described Poston as very vain and that she gave him the nose job he always wanted. She made statements that could be considered inappropriate under the circumstances, such as, I don't know if anyone will ever want to marry me if they know that I killed a boyfriend in self-defense. After being left alone in the interrogation room for several hours, Hubers began pacing dancing around the room, and singing Amazing Grace. The gun, and in the middle of him doing something with his arm or saying something crazy, he shot him. And I thought, oh my God, what have I done? You know? And he was laying with his face on the table, like twitching. And so I knew he was going to die a very slow and painful death. I knew he was already dead, you know, and within the next 20 seconds. So in the next two minutes, I knew he was going to be dead. And he was in a lot of pain. He was twitching, he was moaning, but he was ultimately dead. And so I shot him enough time to kill him so that he wouldn't suffer at that point, which was a few more times. And he, I shot him, I think I shot him twice, thought he was completely dead and he was laying there still twitching and making noises. And I shot him in the head. I probably should have left it there. But I know he was going to die. Mm -hmm. Or have a very deformed face. 
and you were concerned. And I knew, oh no, he would have died. He was already dying. He was already, he was dying. But I just walked around the table and shot him where I knew he would die immediately. And fast. His obsession with guns killed him. You know, I would have never, I'm so Democrat, I would have never touched a gun in my life until I dated him. I'm not your typical murderer. No, I'm not someone that you see on death row. He said, you're just a hillbilly from Kentucky. And I am. I guess I, that's the hillbilly came out of me. <laughs> I took that for myself. I don't know if it matters now. The worst thing I've ever done in my whole life. But I feel like... It's sad that I, like, part of me doesn't feel bad about it. And a part of me does, you know what I mean? Like, a part of me is like... He hit me. He through me. You just don't treat a woman like that. When I was like in high school and she was a convicted seller. She told me that the women that she got, she was, she went for cocaine. She told me that the women that she got along with in jail or prison were the women that were there because they had killed her husband. and says that She also said aloud, I did it. Yes, I did it. I can't believe I did that. And I'm so good at acting. Hubers was arrested for murder and was held on a $5 million bond. Hubers was indicted for Poston's murder on December 20th, 2012. On January 16th, 2013, she entered a plea of not guilty to the murder charges. Two and a half years after the incident, Hubers' murder trial began on April 13th, 2015. She had remained in Campbell County Jail since her arrest, unable to meet her bail. Prosecutors argued that the motive for the murder was that Poston wanted to permanently end the couple's relationship. Defense attorneys continued with their contention that the shooting was in self-defense and that Hubers was a victim of domestic abuse. As part of their case, the prosecution, led by Michelle Snodgrass, put on text message evidence that showed Hubers' obsession with Poston. Several witnesses, including Poston's family members, Audrey Bolt, and Huber's former cellmate testified for the prosecution. Carissa Carlisle, through whom Post met Huber's, testified that her cousin was trying to avoid conflict with Huber's, and she read a series of text messages she had exchanged with Poston prior to his death. Poston's stepfather Peter Carter testified that the day before his son's death, Poston confided in Carter about an upcoming date with Bolt, and was afraid to tell Huber's about it. The date was for a following night, on which Poston was killed. Bolt stated that on the night of the murder, she and Poston planned to meet at a Milford, Ohio bar for drinks at 9.30, and that she had been looking forward to it, but that Poston had failed to show up. Huber's former cellmate, Cicely Miller, also testified where she said that Huber's bragged about killing her boyfriend, saying that she laughed about shooting Poston in the face and giving him the nose job he always wanted. Miller also said that Huber's discussed legal strategy with her. 
saying she was going to plead insanity, but she was too smart because she had the IQ of Einstein, so she was going to plead battered wife syndrome. Hebers did not take the stand in her own defense, but relied on police interrogation tape in which she maintained the killing was in self-defense. On April 23, 2015, after five hours of jury deliberation, Hebers was found guilty of Poston's murder. Following the verdict, the jury recommended a 40-year prison sentence. Huber's attorneys argued for a new trial, stating that they were not allowed to present evidence and witnesses that would have shown Huber's killed Poston in self-defense. Her attorneys also asked the judge to recognize Huber's as a victim of domestic violence, which would reduce the amount of time she would be required to serve before becoming eligible for parole. Under state law, Huber's would be required to serve 85%, or 20 years of her term, whichever was less, before becoming eligible for parole but her attorney's motion would require her to only serve 20% of her sentence before she could be released. Four months after being convicted, Hubers was sentenced to 40 years in prison with parole eligibility after 20 years, as per the jury's recommendation. Presiding judge also declared that he did not believe that Hubers was a victim of domestic violence and that he had considered a sentence greater than 40 years. Following her sentencing, Hubers appealed her conviction. Her appeal was granted on August 25, 2016. Overturning her conviction on the basis that one of her jurors withheld a felony conviction, Kentucky law prohibits convicted felons from serving on juries. Huber's new trial was set to begin on September 18, 2017, but was delayed for four months to January 16, 2018. Huber's new out-of-state attorney asked for, and was granted, a six-month delay to allow him time to prepare for the retrial. Huber's second trial began on August 8, 2018. In Huber's second trial, she gave lurid details of her sexual relationship with Poston. The defense built its case around the assertion that Poston was an abusive boyfriend. After about five hours of deliberation, a jury found Huber's guilty of murder. She was sentenced to life imprisonment with the possibility of parole. Huber's will have to serve 20 years before she can be considered for parole in 2032. She is incarcerated at Kentucky Correctional Institute for Women.